the Daily Digestion Channel. In this video, we're going to be doing a juice and we're going to be talking about food traps and preventive measures and medicine and we're going to be talking about um, vegan drama, carnivore drama, and is it leading you to the food trap? Okay, so I'm going to share with you a little bit of what's going on. Okay, so I have two carrots today. This is a morning juice for me. This is a hodgepodge of stuff that I have and um, I ran out of juicing stuff. So I'm just throwing some stuff together. Two apples, five leaves of kale, a handful of dandelions, which I want to say dandelions are can be an adjunct to Indiva, which is a type of lettuce that's really good for the eyes. And we've got about a quarter of a, a small baby watermelon. And that is what is going in this juice, guys, because that's all I have. So, yeah. That's, I just want to show you guys that you can juice with whatever you have. You don't have to be like in this, I got to have this to do my juices. Just do your juices, guys. Do it and just don't put too much sugar in it, especially if you have sugar problems. I don't have sugar problems, so I don't really have to worry about it. But now if I was to juice orange juice every single morning, that wouldn't be good. That would make me have sugar issues. So you don't want to do that. But so what we're going to talk about today is um, carnivore and vegan drama. Guys, there's a lot of this going on on YouTube right now. Um, it's almost virtually impossible not to get caught up in it. Um, I made the mistake of getting caught up in the drama. Um, you know, and I kind of started going down some roads that I really shouldn't have been on. So my advice is if you like the drama and um, you kind of like feeding into the drama or, I mean, it, it can be addictive. It can be addictive and uh, it can be a place of rest, you know, where you can be like, oh, I'm going to watch this. For a little while and um, you know it's not really going to have any effect on me but guys it is a true fact that what you think about in your brain can either make you or break you okay it can either make you or break you when you are thinking negative thoughts it is a proven fact that um, people who have thought negative thoughts they have looked inside of their brain and it has caused hardening of the plaque of the neurons in the brain and guys I'm gonna have to wash this off real quick it's um, got a little bit of a um, smell to it that sometimes uh, when I get there that's better it was just wanted to make sure I don't I forgot to rinse that off I can really smell things like really good um, that most people can't smell and it's because my connection with plants um, I can even go out in the Sun and not get sunburned because I eat so many raw vegetables and drink so many raw vegetable juices. One year, uh, we went to the beach. I went to the beach with some family members. We went out onto the ocean and we were out there all day long. Everybody was slathering on suntan oil. They were like, you know, the sunscreen and all that stuff. They were putting all that stuff on. And I didn't put any on because I knew that I, I wouldn't burn. Um, I was like eating all raw at the time, which basically that's what I do eat is mostly raw foods because I love raw foods and they're delicious and I just feel better on a raw food diet. 
but um, I had always heard that you don't need sunscreen. So I actually put it to the test and I didn't need sunscreen. I, I, I haven't used it to this day. And guys, in case you haven't noticed, most sunscreens have toxic chemicals in them. So what does that tell you? You know, you're, you're doing stuff that's supposed to help you uh, Hold on a second. Okay, sorry. Um, but so I never got a sunburn and everybody was like, gosh, why aren't you getting sunburned? And I was like, I don't know. I think it's the raw foods. And they were like eating raw foods. <laughs> After that, everybody was like, man, I'm gonna eat some raw foods. <laughs> but, um, but juicing is another way to get plenty of raw foods into your diet without all the fiber because sometimes the fiber can be hard on your system if you try to eat massive amounts of it. And it took me a long time to figure that, that out. I was on the vegan diet, just purely vegan. Uh, but I don't really promote veganism now just because I really don't believe in the ideology behind it. That, and I think that, uh, you know, there's just some people that they can't eat all those vegetables. I, I've seen too many people. And I know there's just, there's some people that they need meat. My husband being one of them. Um, he's got uh, this type of blood, you know, that he needs meat. And he can eat it and he doesn't have a problem with it. And he eats a lot of it. And it's like no digestion problems whatsoever. And he's like really super healthy. And he like runs circles around me. And I'm like, how do you do it? And I tried to eat like him when we first got married. It didn't work because I grew up with, you know, eating mostly uh, fruits and vegetables and things. My mom healed her diet on a raw food diet. Um, with eating sprouts and from the Ann Widmore uh, pamphlet that she found at Piggly Wiggly. So, you know, I mean, it's different strokes for different folks, guys, and that's all there is to it. All this carnivore, vegan stuff, you know, you don't need to get caught up into this crazy negative drama. You know, a lot of these people, God forbid me saying this, but they are just picking the hell out of vegans online and guys it's just ridiculous you know that negative um the, that negative thinking is gonna lead you down a road that you really really shouldn't be going on guys and there are vegans out there that are just as negative and i think that is what has caused this retaliation but there again, it's the negative thinking. Stay away from negative thoughts, guys. Um, because it is true. Think, do, a, do a brain check, okay? Do a brain check when you get up in the morning. Try to be consciously aware of where your thoughts are. As you're doing your menial task that you do every day, do you catch yourself thinking really negative thoughts about other people. If you do, stop, re-evaluate uh, what you're thinking and try to think more positive thoughts. Try to like think about, there's a Bible verse that says, um, what does that Bible verse say? It goes, Oh, whatsoever ye think, think of good, noble, positive thoughts. I'll put it down in the description box. Um, but there's there's a Bible verse, think ye on these things. So, you know, that is something to be mindful of, guys, is really thinking these good thoughts. Now, if, you get, if there's some bad places... In your watermelon like this you'll want to cut that out but the rest of it is okay but there might be a little uh, place that's got a dent in it or whatever that's got a little oxidation um, just because your carrot has a little rotten place on the side doesn't mean the whole carrot is bad just cut that little rotten place out and you can throw it in there <clears throat>
But uh, today, sorry I'm in a hurry today, but we've got a kid's birthday party in the family that we're going to, and uh, I, I'm kind of in a hurry. Um, and I've got to go to the store and pick up some juicing items because I am completely out. This is the last of my vegetables. But the good thing is, is this stuff's not going to go to waste. You know, ever since I've been juicing, there's I never have leftover vegetables in the fridge that go to waste. So that's pretty cool. It really is, and juicing totally is amazing. It will help you to get your thoughts positive because really a toxic colon can make your, it, it makes you not feel good. If you don't feel good, you're really not gonna be able to think good about anything because you're gonna be like, I feel bad, I suck, my life sucks, I can't even get moving and you know other people are going to sense this negativity and you know one of the things that I realized when I had my bicycle wreck you guys and um, when I was flat on my back it was a nightmare I could not uh, <coughs> I couldn't get up and get moving it was terrible that's not going to be a big enough jar hold on jar just came out of the dishwasher so I rinsed it off with cold water so it wouldn't heat my juice up too much because I don't want my juice to lose um, you know the chill of it because then it'll make it be uh, not as good because when uh, hot things like if you pour cold juice into hot glass it'll make the temperature go down and it loses some of the uh, nutrient content because heat destroys uh, nutrients um, that's like if you ever buy uh, vitamin supplements you want to make sure that you don't leave them in a hot car when you go into the grocery store stuff like that can really screw you up look how beautiful that is this is gorgeous look how green and then um, you know we're going to go ahead and put in the rest of the carrots and apples and watermelon and this is going to be a delicious drink it really is it's got a lot of the bitter in it but the uh, the um, the sweet of the apple and the the carrot the carrot has a lot of vitamin A in it and the apple is really good for your digestion it's high in malic acid which is really good uh, for your digestion and the watermelon is excellent for your digestion all these things are going to help clear out mm. I love watermelon but it's so hard to not eat it but um but guys yeah this negative thinking stuff can really lead you down the wrong road. It can be very deceptive. If you are listening to any drama that is going on on a channel and you get sucked into it, pay attention to what these people are actually doing. Are they, do they have major chronically ill uh, health conditions? And are they like really, really sick? And because if they are, you really don't want to be taking any advice from them. I mean, it just, it is what it is. Um, you know, you really, your body is your body. Nobody has a body like you do. And um, really, you can be your own healer, you and God. There's a book written by uh, Ann Wigmore. She wrote a whole book on this about be your own healer and um, you know guys if you go to the doctor today 
they're really not going to heal your body. They're going to give you, um, they're going to, they're going to treat your symptoms, whatever symptoms you're having. They're going to, they're going to treat your symptoms and they're going to give you a diagnosis. Now, some of these, uh, practitioners, they just got out of med school and they have really not, you know, if, if you go to a doctor, you probably might want to ask them how long they've been practicing. And guys, unless they've been, from what I've seen, I'm 47 years old. I didn't fall off the apple cart yesterday, okay? And from what I have seen, uh, you know, really, most of these people, unless they've been doing what they have been doing for 30 years, they really don't know what they're doing. I'm sorry. That is just, it is what it is, okay? That's why you're probably going to get more benefit from going to an older doctor that's been around the block a few times and that has gray hairs than by going to see one that's fresh off the press that has no experience and they really don't know they're from a hole in the ground. I'm just saying guys, it is what it is. Experience is what gives you knowledge in this life. Now, there, granted, there are some kids out there, I've been so impressed with their knowledge of, you know, their experience. And I'm like, God, how does this kid know all this stuff? I didn't know this stuff until like I was later in life and I, I've been really impressed with some people's knowledge, but guys, test it. Get more than one opinion. Get, look at all of the different, look at different preventive measures. If your eyes start to go bad, don't just go to the doctor and get some glasses. Start looking into some juice recipes that are healing for the eyes. Start, um, you know, going to, um, Start looking, if you're having hip issues and arthritis, look up some juice recipes for arthritis. Start uh, doing some yoga that helps prevent arthritis before you get to the serious, serious stages of arthritis. Because I'm just here to tell you guys right now, once you start, once you get disease, it's not impossible to reserve to reverse it but it is not easy and all of the work and years of abuse that were done to create that disease within the body you're gonna have to put a lot of hard work back to reverse that disease does that make sense and guys I'm not trying to be negative because it is possible you can do it but you're going to have to think, change your thinking processes. Be very careful and mindful about what you're thinking about other people. And uh, so, uh, you know, it is what it is. And uh, you just, you really have to, all of those Bible verses and all of those things that you were taught growing up, it's not a bunch of baloney. There's, I mean, there's history in history years of documentation of these kingdoms that fell because of idolatry and it was like you know sexual sins and like evil crap that these people were doing killing people and you know just evil thinking guys and it it causes disease it causes sickness I mean it, the history is there you know, the Bible is not just one big, like, uh, bunch of stories. Everybody thinks that, okay, look how beautiful this is. You can't really see it, but it is really beautiful. Like, it's, I mean, the lighting, it's, it's, it's got, like, this orange, really heavy orange, and then it's darker on top, and it's just, it's beautiful. But I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be wild tasting. I, whew, I thought I'm gonna go ahead and throw some, um, I don't have any uh, ginger today, 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in some cayenne pepper because I love cayenne pepper. It's great for inflammation. It helps kill parasites. Um, it can like seal up uh, places within the gut and help them heal. Like it's amazing. Cayenne pepper, guys. It's a great addition to add to your juice. And I, I usually go with one, two, three. And really, you know, the funny thing is about cayenne pepper is a lot of the um, Mexican people, they love cayenne pepper. They'll put it on their watermelon, sprinkle it on their watermelon. And um, they'll, they'll use this stuff. It's like a, a lime, lime and uh and it's amazing. Like, um, I love to go to the flea market and uh, buy stuff from the Mexicans down there. They, they sell mangoes with cin um, not cinnamon, but with cayenne pepper sprinkled on it and everything. But let's do a taste test. We'll see how this tastes. Mmm. Mm, this is really good. Thank you, God. This is amazing. Oh, wow, it's sweet, but it's it just it feels really balancing because it has the greens in there, and it's just a great morning drink to wake my brain up. Oh, it's amazing. But uh. Yeah, the, the, the drama and everything, you know, it can really, really get you. And I just have a confession to make is I fell into the drama trap. I did. I fell into it. And now if, if there's like just too much negative stuff in a title, I'm just like, you know what? I just don't click on it. If it's, I mean... You know, my, I can only, this life that we're living is pretty negative. Like, you have to deal with negativity at family get-togethers, people giving you a hard time everywhere you go. It's like uh, my pastor, my old pastor used to say, he would say, um, you know, the world is negative and hard enough on people. We don't need to beat up on people. Like, as Christians, to try to win souls for Christ, we don't need to be so negative on people all the time because this world is negative enough. I mean, just, oh my gosh, trying to get out of debt. And unfortunately, if you're one of these people that get in debt, oh my God, you know, it is like really hard. You're basically like a slave to the system and just trying to deal with that is like hard enough as it is. Wow, this is really hitting the spot. <sighs> but, uh, you know, so really be careful about what you're thinking about and be careful about what you're saying. Be careful about what you're putting out there because it, it may come back in a form that you don't want. And, um, you know, so uh, I hope this video encourages you today to go juice get out there and juice uh, get out there and juice get up get on and get on with it juice let's juice let's do this let's do this guys you can do it you can do it you just gotta say I'm gonna do this I can do this you just you need to be saying we can do this you know be putting those positive thought, uh, activate those neurons in the brain, guys. It's huge. There's a whole book written on this. I'm going to put, a, I'm going to do a book review on this book. It talks about, um, you know, your thoughts. Excuse me. Sorry. I hope you didn't hear that burp. <laughs> um, but you know, positive thinking and what it does to the neurons in the brain. They, they have done scans on people's brains and so forth like, and the transference of thoughts 
like some people thinking a thought and their twin has the same thought and so forth. I mean, they're really, and they were like, uh, like across the United States. Like there's records of stuff like this and they've done these tests of people. doing. It's very fascinating and it's very true. So um, the, your thought waves, they really do, uh, you know, activate certain waves that are transferring across to other people. So it's really interesting. Um, wow, this is delicious. I can taste the carrot. It would have been nice to have some lemon in here, um, but this will work. I mean, this will do the trick, excuse me, <laughs> to get me from A to B. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video because I went over, I'm, I wanted to stay in 20 minutes, and I did, and um, so I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and uh, just remember, don't get caught up in the vegan drama or the carnivore drama. Be careful. And Think about what you're thinking and, you know, is it positive? Is it ne negative? Like, you know, everybody's on a different path of where their bodies are healing. Um, you know, I mean, I've been there. And if your body just can't eat certain things, then that's the way your body is. Some people's bodies have very serious inflammatory effects on certain types of food whether it be uh, fruit fiber uh, plant fiber or whether it be meat and potatoes and that's a whole nother video um, on food combining um, you don't want to be combining your proteins and your starches. And I see that all over people's YouTube channels. They're like throwing in like, I mean the traditional meal, meat and potatoes, that's protein and starch. It causes inflammation. It's like, go figure. You know, the world is going, is doing all these practices that's causing problems, but, um, Oh, enough on my soapbox. I'm going to go ahead and um, close this video up and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you like this content and you want to see more videos like this, I have plenty more of them. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, please. I need thumbs up. I need subscribers. I need you to share this information with anybody. Um, that you think that could use this information. Guys, people are dying from a lack of knowledge. It, it says in the Bible, people are perishing from a lack of knowledge. And it's so true, guys. You gotta build your mind, stop, drop, and pray, and let's do this, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.